Welcome everybody to uh, the second session of the Waking of Lake Zenith, uh, or Zenith Lake. I can't remember how I wrote it, and if I back out, um, I will ruin everything on my computer. So, it's one of those two, and uh, thank you for watching part two. And uh, donate money to the charity. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Girls Who Code. So, we are... We're now at 400. <laughs> so... <laughs> wow. Big money. Okie dokie. Well, thank you, Knight. Um, so now we have a few things we got to get set up. Um, as I adjust this mic to be where I want it to be. So, um, for anyone who doesn't know what we're doing, uh, we are raising money for Girls Who Code. Uh, hopefully to give uh, young women a... Uh, a training and a future in a place where they'll be able to just uh, make a living and uh, yeah, just um, get into a, a place that um, well, I know myself, I don't understand coding but they will <laughs> and, and help them get the training and and to uh, yeah, just uh, progress, progress in life so we are helping them uh, out we uh, as night uh just showed um as there are different things that people can go and donate money for um and all the money well i said donate for but things i can unlock in this D, D campaign um so there already are a few things that um we have to just oh goodness <laughs> the this everything is going nuts on my end silly <laughs> the uh, Discord going all over the place. Um, so there's a few things we're gonna have to take care of. <laughs> You're helping, yes. Uh, and uh, yeah. And by the way, for anyone, uh, as we get going. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say, um, which Knight also got it pretty much close, is that uh. I was gonna say in the first hour I was gonna match up the donations up to the first hundred and you guys are already seventy-five dollars there. So yeah. So you <laughs> Yeah, so that would be uh coming in. We're I'm gonna do it pretty much in an hour. So, so uh yeah, all we need is another twenty five dollars and we'll get the full match. Um and yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure. So, in short, um, this, uh, yeah, so we just unlocked Cursed, and the next unlock is Magical Items, um, but first things first, uh, I guess let's, let's introduce our characters, our players, our characters, and, uh, we'll do a quick recap, and then we'll just jump right into it, so, uh, well, I'm always here, so we'll start, well, on the... Looking at the stream all the way on the left, JR Flames. How you doing? Hello, hello. I am JR Flames. We are reintroducing ourselves or the characters? And a little bit of both. Like, just, uh, you can just say, uh, you, know, you introduce yourself, what you do on your stream, and then maybe, like, just, uh, your character name and, uh, like, uh, their class. We'll, we'll keep it simple. Because if they want to know all the stuff, they can go on YouTube and watch the first episode. There you go. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> but uh, I am JR Flames, uh, streamer here on Twitch. I play a little bit of everything. Uh, lately been on the Elden Ring kick. Ignore the dog barking in the back. That is Benny. You will probably Benny. see him on the stream. <laughs> Benny's going buck wild. <laughs> he is going to ham. He's like, JR, JR. But um, yes, I play a little bit of everything. Call of Duty, Elden Ring, all kind of this kind of stuff, you know. Uh, if you see me, you'll probably see one of these two other people here, of course. Uh, but uh, my character is Janty Male. Uh, his full name is Janticore Maelstrom, but he doesn't like to go by that because he's kind of scared and kind of, uh, you know, embarrassed about being an orc. So he is an orc paladin uh, and he loves flames. That's it. All righty. So moving down the line, we have uh, J2 Rudo. Hi, my name is uh, JT Rudo. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I am uh, one of the Smite community streamers here on uh, Twitch. So you can catch me over there live uh, three to four times a week. Uh, on my channel, I mainly stream Smite, but do a myriad of other uh, games that happen to come my way, like 
Overwatch and Apex every now and then, but um, basically uh, my character who I'm playing in this session is Nairman the Heist. Uh, he's basically a traveling assassin who's a range archer who's basically come to East Atras to seek out um, those who are endangering uh, the land and people who are, live on the land. So pretty much he um, cuts down anyone who's in his path that basically is there to cause trouble or um, make other people's lives miserable. So I should show pretty much my character and uh, where uh, he's at in his um, story or in, his, uh, in the way that he looks at the world. Alrighty. And last but certainly not least, we have Hopocalypse. You sure about the last part? Um, yes, your name is Hopocalypse. <laughs> That's not the last part. Um, but yes, uh, hello, uh, Hopocalypse. You can call me Hop uh, for short. I streamed once this last week, so I guess I'm a streamer again. <laughs> yay. Uh, yay. Milestones. I mean, <laughs> I mainly reacted to things and then played a little bit of Stardew Valley, but a lot of my content lately has been on TikTok for mainly, again, Stardew Valley memes. Um, although I did have one that was silly. That was uh, me saying that I only play games where I smooch people, and my exception was Apex. And people, uh, there was one comment that was like, uh, that told me I could play as, uh, it was Loba and somebody else, and the two of them will flirt in the lobby, so it's basically like playing a dating sim. So next time we play Apex, guys, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and my character that I have here is uh, an owl person cleric. She is doing her best. She's doing her best to study. And sometimes she doesn't always catch on to what's going on around her. But she, she has the interest of her of her uh, patron deity and her <laughs> always on her mind. <laughs> Oh, and her name is Kalinma Mistbrook. Kalinma Mistbrook. Alrighty. Um, and if you guys want to... Uh, I don't know. I know in my chat, anyone can shout out whoever they want. So, someone in my chat wants to shout out these three people, so that way they can go check out their stuff. Uh, you can also check them out on Twitter, where they uh, yell at each other for their different ages and calling each other old. Um, <laughs> yeah. Call me another day, <laughs> So, <laughs> yep. So, did I do these? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, is there a timer in between? There's, uh, yeah, between? probably. Yours went through. So, if you just wait like, <laughs> like, like one more second, <laughs> <and> J2 should. <laughs> it's all that matters. <laughs> there we go. There go. Um, but yes, that did make me laugh. It made me laugh and old out of you guys saying. I'm the oldest person here. <laughs> like, hey, hey, I gotta go to work now. <laughs> I forgot how That's close in age all of us were, though. <laughs> now my chat is just shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep it going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> um, yeah. So, um,. Yes, definitely check out all three of these guys. They're all rock stars. And, uh, well, if you have a straight face while watching their streams, well, your exciter's broken. So, <laughs> let's go take this chaos group and jump into what we're doing. Uh, quick recap what happened last time. You guys donated so fast that all these different events happened at the same time and was really confusing for anyone watching. Pretty much, some wolves came out, got the face beats in, and at some point we said they were babies, but hey, who's who's paying attention to that? And then uh, they walked in, the town flooded, uh, to where Kalinma and John D were like, um, let's go uh, to the upper part of town where the library is. And they went in and looked at some books with Father Wren. And he was like, cool. Uh, while the heist went around and I uh, was like, I want to punch someone in the nostrils. Found a, a kobold that was wearing a quilt and he said, yep, that's cool. Here, have a beer and walked out of the bar uh, to where the heist finally did find some people to fight. And uh, Klinma and Jonti maybe out of, uh, I don't know, maybe being on the, the three to eight hour car trip with him was like, well, let's go make sure he doesn't do anything too bad. Went up and um, a tussle happened where a person yelled 
some things and then ran and said hi well if you really want to fight me face me in the woods and teleported dimension doored who knows i don't remember what i said two weeks ago but they just boofed her out of there um to where they met um I gotta open my notes, because I don't remember one of their names. <laughs> <laughs> Where they met uh, pretty much the Sep ceiling siblings. Not ceilings. Um, Major Byford and Sergeant Trillian. Uh, uh, both brother and sister. And uh, they came and they're just like, what the heck's going on? Got a little bit of information. Um, Byford... Uh, pretty much is staying staying uh, behind to look at the scene while well, I remember Trillian was taking him over to Keeper Carl, the dwarf who has 27 kids um, which we found out that they're all adopted uh, and okay, it looks like we reached the, the $100 mark <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a lot more than $100. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the rent coming in. <laughs> yes, that, guys, thank you so much for, for all of this. Um, we'll definitely, I'll definitely be adding it in. Um, so, so they pretty much go over to the farmhouse where uh, before entering, they see a little bit of blood. Um, and I, I think Trillian said, uh, Pretty much was like, oh my goodness, and uh, pretty much just looks at you guys and like, can you guys handle this? I need to go back to Byford. And so she, before really waiting for a response, she's like, meet me in the town square if you find out anything, and just kind of runs away. Um, mainly because I forgot to put her on the next map. And <laughs> so we, uh, <laughs> we're going to go here. But first, we, we need some roll-offs. Um, because let's see, we have one, oh my goodness, come on, okay, let's see, if I make this big, okay, it does mess things up a little, there we go, now we're good, alright, so we have one, um, and two, let's see, um, I don't think there was an actual unlock for $25. I don't think so. But you know what? All these donations, so we're, this is what we're gonna do. We have one, two, three, four. We have four crits, free crits, na natural 20s for your next roll. Um, I'm gonna add it at the end. <laughs> so, um, or maybe while we're doing all the rolls, I'll determine it. So, so yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Um, just we're gonna go across the bottom here. So if I roll, we're gonna roll a one d four, and uh, we're gonna do this four times. And if I roll a one, it's gonna be Jr. If I roll a two, it's gonna be J two. If I roll a three, it's gonna be Hop. If I roll a four, it will be mine. And uh, we're gonna do this four times and find out who what their next rolls are gonna be. Yes, I'm going to say right now because you guys are being super generous and I'm just going to add the 100 at the end. So if you guys want the, if you guys want them to have their magical items, then, yep, you guys, we're going to have to do it while we're going. Magic. Um, okay, so first one, J2, your next roll is a natural 20. Three. All right, JR, you, your next roll is a natural 20. Hop, your next roll is a natural 20. <laughs> before. You and you oh. your next two rolls are natural 20s. I didn't get any. This is rigged. Hold on. I got to check. <laughs> I was going to say natural 20s for everybody. Just uh, not the DM. Hold on. Okay. Well, we have a natural one now on the table. Okay. So, J2, you're, after your natural 20 roll, you have a natural one roll. So, <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Make sure I'm not Alex. missing anything else. Look like it. Alrighty. So with that, um, I need everybody. I'm gonna make sure. Cursed has been unlocked. 
<laughs> so I gotta make sure I tell you the right thing. So, I need you guys all to roll Fortitude. Uh, so constitution? What? What do you mean by Fortitude? Uh, like Fortitude is a Pathfinder thing. I gotta look at <laughs> it. Like, huh? Constitution? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, this won't use their natural twenties. This is this donation thing will not <laughs> this it won't work. Um yes, constitution. Oh, it's okay. Just flat constitution. Yep. Uh yeah, your constitution saving throw. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke. Yeah. No, was that your <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was a constitution saving throw. <laughs> it's the same number. I don't mm -hmm. have any uh, I don't have proficiency in it. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So, Jr., you you just got to roll a constitution. So if you uh, look in the left hand corner, you got saving throws. There you go. Okay. So. Well then, this this is fun. Uh, gotta look up one thing. Okie dokie. So, uh, we will, I'll tell you guys what uh, that will entail in one second. Uh oh. Okay, we have another natural 20. Okay, here we go. Am I getting one? Yeah, I got one. <laughs> it only took five rolls. Finally. Oh, wait a second. Never mind, take that back. I mislooked at it. Ignore it. Unless there was another natural tent. Dang it! My next roll is a natural one. I misread it. Curses. Oh, I see. I see what you did. You were looking at the top one instead of what that actually came in. I saw that there was a donation. I just didn't see how much it came in because. Uh... Can I just bring up the donations on this window? That would make things a lot easier. Nope. Okay. Well, that's all snuck in there. Nah, it's all good. Okay, so let's go to the map right here. And eh, that's not really a secret. Okay, so boop, I'm bringing you guys over. You guys are in front of this um this house. Um, as you come through, you can see kind of the little trickles of blood right there. Yep. And oop, there we go. Now we can't uh, mess that up. So yeah, we uh, you guys can do that. Um, oh shoot, what's her name? Trillian was just like, okay, I gotta hold on. I need to go back and inform my brother, like. That there's attacks happening around the city now we need to go do a sweep uh if you can like just take take care of this uh and just report back that would be awesome and she kind of runs back and so what would you guys like to do oh what um, did you do now rogue who are you calling rogue I see some blood. Is someone hurt over there? What'd you do over there? You see that too? Yeah, maybe we should go ahead and uh, check it out. All right, let's go see. Uh, oh, yeah, there's the. Uh... All right, I just realized some of the map wasn't fully revealed. You guys would have been able to see this side area over here on the mm. bottom. And then. Just kind of where you're standing, you would be able to see that just at the top. So, okay. While uh, J2 heads up to look at stuff, I think I'll just be kind of listening to see if I hear anything out of place. Okay, yeah. So, are you, I guess you're rolling perception, so that would be your natural 20? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no you 
So, you don't hear, like, anything shuffling, but it sounds like... Like, kind of... Metallic crystal... E sound like kind of rubbing against each other. You you kind of hear that. It's like real faint. Can I use a spell divine sense? Sure. So I can see if I detect evil. Oh yeah. Oh wait, is it divine sense or detect evil? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see your character sheet. Is divine sense? Yeah. Because yeah. I have it on my character. Yep, yep, yep. I'd like to cast that. All right. You don't. Well, you don't detect any anything evil. Ah. Okay. Uh, I'll go to the rest of the party and just say it sounds almost like there are maybe it's like wind chimes. I don't know. It's like things are rubbing up against each other. Uh, can I tell what direction it's coming from, Deepin? It's coming from inside the house. Like you can hear, like it. It sounds like it's echoing around, but it sounds... You can hear it, like, pretty predominant, like, on the other side of the store. Okay. And it seems to be coming from inside, so whatever that is, we'll probably run into. And the heist is going to go ahead and bang on the door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo, anyone in there? And uh, the door just kind of... Like, it's not locked. Like, it doesn't even look like it's closed, so it just starts to open up a little bit, just like... But no, like even now you can hear like a little bit of like that, as yeah, as Hot put it, like that wind chime sound. So. I'll creep up behind uh behind J two. I'm I'm sorry, behind uh the heights, <laughs> and I'm peeking over his shoulder. Go ahead and go in, man. I'm ready. All right. But if any fight starts to uh, break out, don't you run on me. So uh. Sorry about that. The heist is going to go ahead and step on in, side. All right. And uh, right inside, you pretty much see this, uh, besides the blood, like a well put together. It looks like a, a table there with uh, some planning stuff and a little bit of farms. Uh, a staircase that um, seems to be going up, upstairs. Uh, and, uh, however, the thing that catches your eye and probably everybody is there's this crystal line, like this crystal person that looks frozen. That looks like, uh, this old, older, like kind of dwarven woman that look, looks like kind of like, uh, like how things can oxidize. Uh, but it's like her skin oxidized with crystals all over it and it. Like, there, her face is, like, in horror slash pain. But she's not moving. Okay, the heist is going to go ahead and uh, proceed forward to the body. He's going to go ahead and investigate it. All right. Uh, I'm right behind him. Uh, but I can't move my character. Oh, okay. I wonder if... Uh... I actually have control of uh, JR's character. Yep. I remember that happened last time. There you go. Now you should have control of your character. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm also creeping up behind the heist. I'm like, hey, woman, are you okay in there? And like, you just silently just like, like you don't hear, I, I shouldn't even made that noise. Like you don't hear anything like, except that like the, like the grinding of, of crystals. Okay. Right, Bice is going to go ahead and use his uh, nat 20 on the investigation. Okay. okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, you can see it's definitely an older dwarven woman. Um, like, kind of, like, this, this portrait doesn't really show, <laughs> show, uh, <laughs> her well. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she, uh, kind of has, like, graying hair that's tied back um she has actually this like well-groomed gray long, like braided beard as well just kind of sitting there uh, you can see uh she has a wedding band um on, on her hand and uh definitely farmer farmer's clothing um but yeah like that's besides that like and and yeah 
So, like, you... That's pretty much everything you can notice with with her. Can I use Where's my... the scholar? Sorry, what? <laughs> what oh, no, I was just... Is... <laughs> I was gonna say, where's the scholar? What do you think about this, Kalimba? Oh, uh, I was gonna get distracted and ask uh, d if I could use my nat 20 to look if there's any kind of footprints or anything, like, through the blood. Um... Yeah, so it actually doesn't look like there's anything like, oh, and actually, I, I completely forgot there was blood. Um, <laughs> this, um, you both can see this, that uh, the blood is like, it looks like the body wasn't originally there. It was like outside, like on kind of where you guys were, like right here, and then was drug back. And uh, you can see that, like, the bottom of her feet, um, like, the, either, like, the soles of her, of her, uh, shoes were ripped off or something like that. Um, but, yeah, the, it looks like her feet and just kind of, just different parts of her body, like, just not, like, tons and tons of blood flowing out, but, like, there's, there's blood coming from, from her. And, uh, as in... Uh, footprints. Is, it, is that your? Oh, I guess that is a natural twenty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you uh, not so much in the blood, but like you can see signs of like movement heading like deeper, you know, deeper into the the house. Okay. Uh, then I'll say that out loud to uh, Yanti and say, "Oh, uh, it looks like if you follow around, uh, if you look at the floor carefully, it looks like people were kind of rummaging through here." If we head back that way, then you might get the answers you need. Hmm. Yeah, I think I see these footprints. Okay. It's kind of hard to make out. Um, What do you think? I think we should go ahead and just move in a little bit further. I think we should probably investigate a little further. Maybe move deep into the house. Something's clearly here. We should uh, definitely check it out. There's danger afoot. Uh, looking at the crystallizing uh, dwarf d pain, is there anything it looks like that Kalenma would be able to do to try and at least comfort her? Um, yeah, you can uh, try to roll medicine and see if uh, you can figure anything out. Wow. Okay. Good night for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a plus six. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find like this, this I forgot what song was on and I'm like this song is way too chill for what's actually happening and so I'm trying to find the murder mystery serene <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't like I was half paying attention so I think this is the song we want to play nope that's well I can add that to it because we'll be using that later um Oh man, I wish I could remember the dang names of these songs. I have it in have it in the other game. I just don't remember this one. Uh, sorry, everybody. That one will work. I right, go to the music. Up you. Hopefully that's not blasting everyone's ears out. Okay, so as you go and uh, yeah, you look at it and uh, well, how are you? Let me ask, like, how are you inspecting or like looking over the body? Say I don't try and reach out and touch her at all. I'm kind of just I'm trying to get a look to see at least like an indication of where there might be a lot of pain or. Um, an open wound that I can at least magically help seal. Um, yeah, it looks like, um, like there was a puncture or something in her her shoulder, and that's where you can kind of see like a burst coming out and maybe spread from there. Mm -hmm. But uh, without this is not the song I thought it was. 
uh, <laughs> without uh, interacting with it more or, or something, then like you you don't know like with that role, you're not sure like if the crystal has bonded to her flesh or um, or or something else like it. You're like without further investigating. So. Okay. Um, I'll take out from my bag, um, like, a blanket that I have mm -hmm. and wrap it around my hand and then kind of see if the crystal can be dislodged at all. Okay. Um. So let me remove the blanket, so. Okay, I don't have it. Okay. Yeah, um. Yeah, well, do another medicine check. That, that sounds like it would work. This. Okay, yeah. So you you go and pull and like you This this is definitely not the song I want and it's super distracting me. <laughs> and now I don't know the name of the actual song I was looking for. Um But yeah, so you go and, and you like pull and you, you can feel it loosen a little bit and then like you're kinda of pulling and pulling and you can see like it it seemed like it bonded a little bit. Um and then, like, maybe right as you're like, I don't know, and you give it, like, a little bit of twist, and it dislodges. And it looks, it's not immediate, but it looks like the crystal, like, starts kind of cracking a little bit. And, like, it seems to be, like, loosening up from there, where, like, uh, like it's starting to chip away. But it's, like, doing it naturally, not, like, you, you don't need to do anything Keep else. Keep filling with it. Okay. Yeah. So in my hand, uh, wrapped in the blanket, I have a chunk of this crystal. Mm hmm Okay, so I'll wrap it up and put it in my bag. Okay. Did you just take a chunk of crystal off of her? I'm trying to keep her from becoming just a giant rock. It looks painful. Don't you think so? Probably is, and it looks like it's at least stopping the spread. It looks like it was cracking there a little bit, so, hmm. Where's that the heist character? Uh, up the stairs, I believe. All right, go ahead and put that crystal away. Let's go see what he's up to up there. Or down there. Are we going up or down? Is that uh, a basement? It's <laughs> up. It's going up. Yeah, with the way the shading is. Got it. So the heist is going to continue up the steps. All right. Uh, this is also where I didn't have a second floor map, so <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> so pretty much when you you go and look up there, it's like a whole bunch of like what looks like bedrooms, um, of different assortments, like different size and stuff, and different beds, um, up there. Like you can see, like oh, okay, this looks like where Keeper Carl and Darla used to sleep, um, and like you count like the twenty-seven, actually you count like close to. 30 to 40 different bedrooms in in here uh but like they're not not huge bedrooms like some of them are like bunk beds and other things and uh you, know, you can put that together also what one thing that you can see up there in one of the bedrooms like you can see like maybe like a little painting of uh one of the of keeper carl and his wife and uh you can tell that this this person that was stuck in the crystal was Darla. So. Okay. The heist is going to go ahead and head back downstairs. Uh, what does uh, squad mates know? What'd you see up there? Uh, apparently there's a painting upstairs and it appears to be a painting of this lady right here almost looks like to be uh, Carla. Interesting. The lady of the house? Yeah. I'm not sure if she's the lady of the house, but uh, pretty much all the information that I got. There. So it's clearly something that's uh, going on here. We got to get down to the bottom of. Interesting. Interesting. Can we explore more, like around the around the area? Uh, yeah, like, I think. Oh, sorry, I didn't know who you were asking. 
skull. <laughs> I think it'll be definitely worth the exploration. We should definitely get down to the bottom of this and take down whoever is uh, responsible for this. And just to be clear, Darla was the the owner of the house? Carl, like, it was real close at the end, um, where pretty much, uh, they were saying Keeper Carl is, kind of keeps everything running, and his wife, Darla, uh, and Dar Carl and Darla go and adopt, um, orphans from all over the land. And so, that's, that's one thing that, that the, they said, um, that, that's who lives here. Um, have either of you seen any one of these 20 orphans? I haven't seen any orphans. I haven't seen any kids. And, and Hop, with Kalinda sitting there, you can see down the hallway. Well, okay. This yeah. is a big, big place. Are these all doors? Uh, yeah, these metal looking things are doors. These are all doors. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Kaluma looks back. She goes, there's a long haul up ahead. Who wants to take the chance and see who has the best luck opening doors? I raise oh, my hand ahead. excitedly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think uh, you found it. Yeah, go ahead and split it up. Each of you try some doors. I'll stay back to make sure Darla's okay. Pop your next roll's a natural 20. Give me all the 20s! <laughs> <laughs> How about I take the left side, you take the right side. No, no, no. I take the left side. You take the left <laughs> side. <sighs> Fine. This All is right. a narrow hallway. Just don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are you guys just checking the doors as you go through? Go, go in front of what door you're checking. This one. Okay. So... It's not locked, and if I put on the actual polygon reveal. Um, yeah, you just see this leads out to the, the forgery area that you saw. Oh yeah, that's what you see there. Okay, and I decide to walk down into the forgery, uh, into the forge, and kind of look around. Okay. Yeah, uh, if you get on there, roll perception, if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, pretty much it just looks like your basic thing that you used to fix up. Um, actually, you don't even need to roll. I think that, like, it, this is definitely just a place where they go and fix farm materials and, and stuff. It doesn't look like there's anything... Like really special or hidden in here. Uh, okay. I yell up to the heist. There's nothing down here. Uh, and so if the heist. Yeah, you, come back up. You're opening up this door that you're in front of. Yeah. Rainy. Right. So you see in this room what looks like a like a, a small eating area, like definitely not <laughs> not enough chairs and stuff to fit everybody, but they might come in different shifts and stuff. But it definitely looks like a, a place where they were eating. Okay. Okay. Um. And. Uh, So, I want you all to roll perception quick. I had a 20. I have a nine one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, Kalinma, you definitely hear the that grinding of crystal sound again. Um, oh, hi. Hello there. From that I direction? Pop <laughs> I popped out farther than I thought I would. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So then Kalima says, uh, it sounds like the sound that we heard earlier coming from Darla is up ahead. So we may run into another body. I'm guessing I just go ahead and kick open his door. 
the door you're in front of okay yep you're yeah. <laughs> you uh kick it right into uh, uh whatever his face it, is yeah i forgot his name it hits me Chauncey. in the back of the head and i'm like come on guys <laughs> there was actually nothing in there hey i open the door this one here yes hey you open up the door and Yeah, as you see, this dude here. And, uh, yeah, he actually just lunges at you. And, uh, yeah, everyone roll initiative. <laughs> so. Oh, um, by the gods. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's 20, baby. Uh, I'm yes. not seeing the dice rolls on the uh, screen. What did your dice rolling last time on there? Yeah. I didn't change anything. You mean like the 3D dice or? Yeah, the 3D dice. Uh, you have to change, you have to check your settings. Uh, if you go to the cogwheel all the way on the right and then. Um... Oh yeah, it's turned off in the last session. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Everyone's name to this initiative tracker that I forgot to do. <laughs> okay, so jump to you hand. Well, that ain't and the heist you and my sort neat. Okay. Um. However, we're going to one. Stop this music to turn on our whichever one was the battle music, which I think was this one. It looks like the name of a battle song. Sounds, Sounds badly. <laughs> okay, so um, he's gonna lunge at you. He kind of got a surprise round off first. Uh, we're just gonna see if he uh, kind of. Double check and read. He's just gonna pretty much just take a swipe at you. Let's see. And that will be. I'm pretty. That's not gonna hit. I know you're. Oh, yeah, it is a natural one. Yeah, so he just. <laughs> boom. Just kind of slams into the wall and is just like a little bit dazed. Um. And, um. Uh, the heist. You are up. All right, the heist is gonna say, uh, all right, the heist is gonna go ahead and move back, pause Lombo, and then I uh, take a shot at him. All right. All right, again. So that'd be, um, yeah, okay, yeah, that hits. Oh, okay. You guys just got your magical items, so <laughs> we, that, they will, they will, they will come in soon. So I'm not sure why I rolled uh, twice. Uh, it's all good. So. Yep. Um. He's gonna go ahead and take another shot at him. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right. And like he just crumbles into a a bunch of rocks, like a bunch of crystals and, and blood. Let's see. Hey, Jonathan, you might want to be careful as you're opening up some of these doors, buddy. Want to find yourself getting into too much trouble. Just be careful where you're aiming those arrows and where you're opening those doors. <laughs> Open that door. Hmm? Or do you mean the one that slammed in the back of your head? Ah, yes, yes, Auntie. I understand now. <laughs> <sighs> Q. 
keep up, owl. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I go ahead and uh, observe the little, the little crystal and blood pile. Not really touching it, just kind of looking at it to see if there's any other uh, little pieces of crystal like the one Kalimba pulled out of that other one. Um, it looks like once it was killed, it just crumbled into to dust, pretty much. Fine dust. Yeah, so there's nothing really discernible about that. Uh, but you guys are still in initiative, so... What would you like to do? Uh, I'd like to explore further uh, down into this little this little area. Jerry? Being careful to stick to the walls and peeking the uh, the corners. Okay. Sec and gotta get the polygon reveal right here. And there's another one just kind of coming up the stairs. Okay, I see him uh, as he's rounding that corner. Uh, I step forward a little bit more just to kind of get close to him. Mm -hmm. And I swing at him with my long sword. Alrighty, go ahead. 13. That hits. A uh, little help down here, guys. Uh, there's another one. Uh, yeah. And so, then I take another swing at him. But you, you gotta do damage first, so quick long sword. No. Quick long sword one handed and that will do damage. Oh well that was your second roll. <laughs> if you you seen the the chat <laughs> box. Oh, did, did Hover damage the thing? word long sword. Yeah. yeah. Then it should be clickable. Like the word long sword. In the chat. In, oh, oh, in the chat. oh, 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 oh. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Wait, the 13 or the 28? The thir eh, yeah, it only matters, the but the 13, yeah. Then... Okay. Alright, so yeah, that hits. Um, doesn't look like all of it went through, though, but uh, yeah, so you hit, and uh, yeah, now for the 28, do the same thing. Okay, it is still standing though, but it's definitely like definitely some gouges in it. Okay. I'm just be heist, aren't we? <laughs> All right. Show me how it's done, dice. <laughs> All right, so uh, at that moment, um, the heist. You hear the tinkling of crystals as I go and put on the right thing as another one just kind of swim comes up behind you and is going to attack um uh, hold up well no we'll do that at the top of the round oh hey i don't think that's hitting um yeah unless a six hits you i don't think that's hitting So, yeah, he just kind of stumbles through and just like, bleh. And back to the initiative tracker over here. Um, Plinma, you are up. Let me see how far each of these are from me. Five, so this would be ten. Okay, I don't think I can reach that one, so I'll run up. Or I can stay in like here. Okay. And... Well, one thing I wanted to say, actually, before you uh, start moving, you notice that there's something happening to your body. Uh, it might have been caused by the donations, where you can see <laughs> some of your feathers seem to be turning into fur. And huh. you're, for some reason, you're getting fangs in where your beak should be. And you start <laughs> to grow claws. Somehow you contracted a uh, lycanthropy, or however you pronounce it. <laughs> as a, a fur. Is it nighttime? Hey, it's a weird place right now. 
Magic is askew. Donations do strange things. <laughs> All right, uh, Kalinma kind of is like, she feels the change in her and she's kind of busy like uh, checking her wings and like checking her hands and feeling her face. And she looks up and I guess she would not act herself, right? So she would kind of, oh. Uh, oh wait, you haven't watched Adventure Time, so I won't make the joke. Uh, <laughs> All I know from Adventure Time is oh, they picked up a ball with their time? butt. No. Yeah, I was gonna ask if I was a hug wolf or not, but okay. I, I assume I'm a, I'm a wears wolf, not a swear wolf. <laughs> there you go. There's your werewolf reference that you'll get, DP. <laughs> um. Um. But yeah, if you want to, let's see. So if I'm you want to do, hug. if you want to see if you want to act normally, because like you're, you're. I think you're a smart character, right? Well, you're studied. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean I necessarily retain yeah. the right information, but I yeah. read books. But um, how about like do a, a, a straight wisdom check with your with your uh, with your role, uh, with your modifiers and all that, and if you get over a ten, you can act normally. There you go. Okay. Oh. With this age, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Wisdom. Okay. Okay. Um, so then I'll act normally. So then uh, what I was going to do, I was going to go here, and then I was going to cast... Um, where is it? Spiritual weapon. So I create a floating shape. So I'll just draw something on this. I'll draw a little circle on this screen. And I can summon it anywhere within 60 feet of me. So I'll summon it here. And when I cast the spell, I can make a melee, melee spell attack against a creature within 5 feet. So then I'll attack this boy, that, what I rolled. Um, yeah, so that's a hit. That much damage. Um, okay, yeah. And, uh, it seems like, yeah, actually, yeah, that all goes through. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. But it's, and then, it's still standing. As a bonus action, I can move it, but I'm not going to move it right now. Okay. Oh, and I'll say my magical spiritual weapon is shaped like a big book, and it bonks them on the back of their heads. All right. Let's see. Um. All right. Um, here we go. There you go, now you can control it. There's your magical weapon. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let me erase the shape. Mm -hmm. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> um, okie dokie. So we have that happening. Um, all right, and now it's time for this buddy boy to come up and well, he's already in range. Let's see uh, Gonna roll oh my goodness. So oh, did I actually hit for once does an 18 hit you jaunty? My armor class is 18 All right, yep, so Yeah, Ty goes the attacker think. Yeah. <laughs> Brain's just like, me. Oh, uh, no. The phrase that I've learned is meets beats. Ah. <laughs> well, prepare for this amazing damage. Seven points of damage. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that. Um, okay, and now since we're at the top of the round, we had another donation. Let's see who's gonna get their next roll be a natural one. <laughs> Gosh dang it! <laughs> yes, <laughs> only nat twenties for me. <laughs> Alrighty, so at the top of the round, it is uh, the heist. Your turn. All right, so the heist. Uh, after almost getting bonked in the head by the. Uh, humanoid in front of him, he's gonna turn around and say, Hey, good job, cuz let What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Kalimba? Kalimba, is that you? Uh, I guess she would talk with a little bit of a lift thing. She's like, I, I don't know, my teeth feel weird. 
Okay, you just try to stay away from me. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with you. But I, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll take down the student and we'll, we'll figure out what's going on with you. All right, so the heist is going to go ahead and put up his uh, long bow and cut his hand in front of it. <laughs> yeah. That's not my friend. <laughs> <It's> my <tool. laughs> He's going to go ahead and uh, cuff his hand and uh, towards the humanoid, he's going to go ahead and uh, blow through it with uh, poison spray. Okay, that's a hit. And Oh, it's got to do a constitution saving throw. Uh, this is a good stat for it. <laughs> Actually, it is a good stat for it, but it still failed because <laughs> I grew like garbage. <laughs> Hey, right, yeah, so... Well, that was a one, right? Oh! Yeah, that was one. <sighs> yep. I was here to keep you in check. Yep. Not, <laughs> well, I don't know why I'm... I'd rather have it on there. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, yeah, it uh, it gets that and uh, damage. So, bu -bu 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 -bum. Yep, okay, yeah, it's still, still standing. Like, it looks like the crystal's, like melting between the force and the poison spray but uh yeah you doing right. anything else that's gonna, oh, that's gonna be all uh the heist can do on this turn all righty and now i forgot who went <laughs> who went when <laughs> um oh well yeah Chanti. it is your turn now next. yeah okay so Jaunty looks down the stairs, but then also looked up the stairs and saw a flash of something furry. And he immediately starts mumbling under his breath. Man, what the heck? I'm getting smacked by doors. People, freaking <laughs> people turning into wolves. It's the worst vacation ever. He pulls out his longsword again. He looks down. And he takes another swing. Alright. That's a hit. Alright. Yeah. Still standing. You get <laughs> you get two wow. two swings, right? Yeah, for being level five. That's a, oh, oh, there you go. All right, so do your damage, and it's going to be times two. All right. Okay, so wait a second. Why all of a sudden it add plus two to that? Ah, um, uh, that's his, uh, that's a crit strike. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Did it. Okay. So that's thirteen. Okay. Yeah. No. And uh, same thing happens. It crumbles. Uh. If I can get onto the right layer. Where's my clicky thingy? Well, first off. Yeah. It's just. It's gone. And oh goodness. I don't want to go find the things again. There, put you there. But yes, it is dead. Oh, that went too far. There we go. And now we're back there. Woo! So yeah, that one is also dead. And, uh... I guess you can move if you want to. You still have a move action. Okay. I do a little victory dance. That's what you get. <laughs> and then I start slowly creeping down even more. Okay. So I make sure to step over. All right. So you're going into the basement. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we'll deal with you in a second. All right. <laughs> next. Oh, look up. how that sounded. <laughs> All right, next is uh, our last, our last lad here. He's uh, just gonna try to take us. Actually, sorry, Klinma, you're up. Okay, uh, I make the whiz check again, right? Yes. You're good. All right. So then, um, first thing I'll do as my bonus action is I'll go ahead and attack the boy 
So I want to click the thing. There we go. This is easier. I don't know why it said wisdom save. Oh. That's what you rolled earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Confused myself. Uh, nope, that's not what I should have rolled. Here, let me try this again. There we go. Okay, that's a hit. Okay, and then you can use that five. Okay. And... Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, and uh, same thing. It it just falls and bursts into to stone. Um, stone and blood. Uh. And then I can move it up to 20 feet and it lasts. Oh, that was a bonus action to even cast it. Haha, <laughs> I could have done something else last turn. That's fine. Last a minute, so we've got a couple of rounds left with it. So I'll move it. Uh... Well, can you see with it? No, I don't okay. get sight with it. Um, I guess I'll head down into the basement. So five, ten, fifteen. I'll well, stop here. I'll say you guys are out of combat now. <laughs> you guys, oh, okay. You guys have <laughs> finished the threat. Um, let's see. I'll still head to the basement. All right. Um, and then if that's the case, then I think my book would disappear on its own. Okay. Um, bring this music back in. Um, all right, so you're going down to the basement? Then? Yeah, I'll head down. Okay. Um, so yeah, they both went in there. Uh, I am... Advice is gonna go ahead and also uh, follow. All right. Well, before you go down, you you hear some like some noises from uh, someone coming down the stairs. As I try to find the stinking token, where to go? How come <laughs> I can never find anything when I'm looking for it? Ah. All right. Just uh, imagine this person has gray hair. Uh, because it is the. Not what that's not how I wanted to flip it. He's walking on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. There we go. But uh, this is the woman that was stuck in crystal, and she's like, What did you get? My children. What happened? Ma'am, your children tried to kill us, ma'am. And also, what happened to you? Why were you stuck in that crystal? I. It did something. I don't know, like, I... Before, all I know is that it went down to the basement. I don't know, there's there's something going on down there. I didn't even know that we had a basement, honestly. Kind of weird that we had steps. But anyway, it's just we don't go down there. But... Well, uh, interesting enough, I have two squad mates that just went down to the basement. Oh. And whatever's down there, they're going to more likely encounter. Have you seen Carl? No, I don't think I've seen a uh, coral as of uh, yet. Is there something wrong with your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong. <laughs> what do you think is wrong? Something wrong with my mouth? <laughs> I said coral. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, That's well, it. <laughs> and, like you kind of just see, like she kind of like tears are starting to form her. She's like, look, if I don't know what it was, but just be careful and. Just leave me. I, I need to take care of my... Well, what's left of my kids. I think there's a few of them more down there. And she just... Uh, <laughs> if we happen to see any because we'll, we'll probably send them back up. I can't promise that they'll be in pieces if they attack us, but we'll, we'll try to spare. Yeah. Okay. And she just kind of is on her knees and just like not even listening to you anymore. <laughs> So uh, the heist is going to go ahead and uh, just creep towards the door. Or basically tiptoe towards the door and uh, go ahead and go on okay. through the passage down the steps. So you guys go into the basement, and it looks like a normal basement. Uh, and uh, as you can see in there, it's just like, it looks like there's a few things for storage. Uh, however, you notice along the back wall, there's this, like, a hole carved into... Uh, into the floor heading down with these stairs 
and uh, you all three of you guys go down and you come out into this cave system. Um, you guys should be kind of close to the middle-ish. We'd be like okay. here, or? Oh, so, no, oh, like, uh, I was just letting you guys know where you are on the map. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. But, like, as you walk down, it seems there's actually a few things that happen. Um, but can you make one more wisdom check for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it's, um, oh, wow. Yeah, it's <laughs> like it seemed like it was starting to weaken and everything, but it's like whatever it was, like it seems to like you could feel like it's something like kind of invading and like pushing, like fighting for control and. Uh, like, out of combat, I'm not gonna make you have to, like, like, oh man, we're out of control or whatnot, but, uh, yeah, so pretty much, like, you, you're, there's, like, kind of a struggle for what is making sense in your head right now. Um, the other thing that happens, though, is you guys, it seems like there is a blessing from the people that you serve, uh, that you... They either have seen what you guys are, are going through uh, and decided to bless your equipment as I look over to the actual tab or we hit the $500 on the charity and you guys have some magical <laughs> equipment and Ooh. I'll just say I just wrote this off the top of my head what I thought would be cool I don't know if this is actually balanced <laughs> so <laughs> You know what? Let's let's have some fun to find out who's getting their item first. Why doesn't everyone just roll a d20 and we'll that's, that's who we'll find out who gets their thing first? Uh, wh where do I click that? You can do either on the left. There's like a d20. If you look at the one that's kind of like the symbol of roll twenty, then there's like d20 is an option there. Or you can type slash roll and then space one d20. Okay. So, the heist. As you're walking down, you feel like the sensation on your hand. And like, as you look down, like what, what would you say is the hand that pulls back the your arrow and like your, your main hand, I guess? You like I'll left say my right, right hand is. Right hand? Okay. Yeah, and, right. So you, you feel like this sensation as, uh, and which uh, celestial do you, are you serving again? Is it uh, to call? Uh, no, it's uh, there. It... Which one? Sorry. I slid, uh, Siric. Gotta bring yeah, he's basically the. Uh... I don't have his. Uh... Don't worry, I, I bring up in a Hold sec. Up. I figure I would know my own pantheon. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Wait, which one? Sorry. Hold on, let me try to pull it up. I don't think I chose it from the uh, Pantheon list. Uh. uh basically, the god, the deity of uh, strife and lies. Not related. Okay. Well. I'll go with what I originally wrote then. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you you look down and you see like that there's this dark green snake that is like kind of going from your elbow, wrapping up like it's a tat, not like it is a tattoo that that is glowing, um, and pretty much like the the eyes glow a little bit more, and pretty much like you get this understanding that the D D eight you served is um is like pretty much twice per day um you can summon the power of this snake and whatever half the damage that you do on a hit will restore your health like so you regain half of your damage back as health you can only do it twice per day as like and it's 
kind of symbolized by like its eyes. And then when you get a, a rest, then like you you get your health back. Or it will recharge again. So Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um so next is Kalinma. And uh so Kalinma, your magical um vestment uh begins to like glow and also like this kinda lighter emerald green light kinda comes over you as an aura. And like you can hear uh Met too. Right? Yeah, that's the god of shoot. No cut I forgot the name and I already closed the list. Let me open that back up again. <laughs> Cause you <laughs> serve the god of wind, right? Yeah, okay, Matu. Yep. I was right. Uh Matu, like you can kinda gives you this understanding where um pretty much uh pretty much once once per day you roll the amount of d6s equal to your level and you get uh, a shield lasting like that many hit points so you're level five so you'll roll five d6s and that's you'll have like a this aura shield that covers you can i do that right now sure um and then probably the one that everybody notices um especially jaunty is uh as you are, are walking down and like maybe it starts to get a little bit dark um but then all of a sudden like as you're holding your your main sword sorry no you only have the one long sword right yeah so your long sword like it starts to become hot and like and as you're like, like you can still hold it but you can feel this heat kind of coursing through there until the blade actually lights on fire and you feel like the the power of uh Arash or Arash uh the element of fire just coursing through your blade as now you get to add uh whenever you hit you add one D ten fire damage on top of it. And that was all the magical items I thought of while I should have been working today. I don't, as I said, I don't know if they're all Love balanced, it. but it sounded cool when I was writing it at nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> so, Time well spent. <laughs> so I was like, if I know anything, they're at least going to try to get the magical items. Um, but yeah, so you guys, your, your, uh, well, your el the elements or your your uh, gods have blessed you. As you go down into this cave, um, let me just see what is the next milestone. Just to let everyone know, it's called race. Uh, can I take one second? I'm yeah, be right back. Yeah, let's take a. We can take a quick break. It's just gonna be one minute. Yeah, no Here. problem. Now we can really let everyone know what we feel now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alive or anything, nobody will hear us. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of the Jaunty character. <laughs> <laughs> We're voting him off the island? <laughs> Look, he, he was saying that he was the oldest. I don't know how, how old he is, but you know, as he get older, weaker bladders, so... <laughs> it's just... I'm gonna feel real bad if I'm actually older than him. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're either 31 or 32. Well, we either the same age or I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we're good. No agent chat, thanks. <laughs> what? <laughs> no agent chat. Uh, yeah. The good old. Um, yep. If you don't say it, I can't get you in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the knights over there. You dang kid, get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is a good chance, since he's. Running out. I'm gonna do my donation. Where's that gonna open? Oh, definitely don't want it to open there. <laughs> Not on the stream. Yep. Yeah. Add. As we said, we uh. Matching it. Da, da, da. So yeah, if we hit seven, 
$750, we uh, will get the next unlock. As uh, I also remember, I had to pay my car insurance, so this is going to be a fun credit card bill. <laughs> <laughs> it's all worth it. Um, and Hop, this will also be a, just a, a good mention to you. Is like even though you can feel like the lichen, like kind of like effects, like you're not, you're kind of like shifting between like half in, half out, okay. and uh, if I remember correctly, there's different versions of like wear creatures. So, um, I don't know. Is there even a wear owl? That'd be interesting. Let me look it up. My world can be. Can be. Where owl D and D. Yeah, probably. Oh, hey, I think it came up. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's a monster creature. Yeah. Okay. Well. Not that it's uh, it shape changes into an owl. Like it's a human who changes into an owl. Okay. Well, we can say maybe uh. Like maybe you you become more, uh, rather than turning out like you you become like a a more bestial looking um, owl. Like you look like you belong <laughs> Less in. Person. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, if anyone remembered that oh, I think it's called uh, Get Big. It's like uh, an old cartoon where this scientist travels back in time to bring dinosaurs and feeds them smart cereal. Oh, um. Was we're it back. Called we're back. That's yeah, we're called. back. Yeah, you uh, you got hit with like the de evolution ray. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> you know Sorry, what? Out a spider of context. Has to the house. What? <clears throat> it was a giant spider, so I had to go. Oh, <laughs> it was. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna say that uh, an your dog decided to go for another walk. <laughs> yeah, it was just like I came back with pizza. <laughs> so, hey. Um, yep. So. Giant spider burned the house down. Oh my goodness. Uh, yep. So. Alrighty. So, with that. Yeah, so you guys, uh, all come, come down here. Blessed by your, uh, the, the deities. Excuse me, that you serve. And so... What would you guys like to do? All right, before we uh, continue on further, the heist is going to go ahead and uh, learn, give his party members the information that he gathered while upstairs. So, uh, guys, I believe the lady who was uh, crystallizing that crystal when we first came in is out, and apparently uh, the people that we've been fighting within the home has been was their uh, children. So as we come across them, uh, we're more than likely they're gonna try to attack us, but if we can kind of spare them, then I think we should take that approach. Uh, I'm really sad that our kids are dying. Yeah, Kalima's eyes go wide. She goes, "We've been killing orphans." I don't think those—they're not necessarily orphans. His mother is still alive. Well, adopted orphans. Either way, Janty just I'm keeps sure staring at Kalima. Uh, so are you gonna tell us why you're a wolf now, or? Uh, I, I, I'm not even sure. I mean, my beak doesn't seem to like fit on my face right, but we'll figure it out later, right? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Jay, are you, you, you were gone while we were explaining a little bit more. She, um, because we were just talking about it. She looks more, she looks like an Elden Ring owl, pretty much, like a very, <laughs> like between like mid transformation, like. Oh no, I know one. I blood. immediately run away. <laughs> Where's the fun? Well, I don't even know what's in Elden Ring. Where's the bonfire? <laughs> uh, it, there's steak. The grace. In... Huh? Right. Is it steaks or is it graces? Mm, steak. Grace. I was, well, I was getting confused because Troy was like, yeah, I got to make it to the next steak, steak America. I was like, what does steak of America have to do with Elden Ring? <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> Said in present day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta go and instead of maidenless, I'm burgerless. <laughs> <laughs> Need to go find the the onion ring. Alrighty. So yeah, you guys are down to this cave and uh 
you guys you can feel like there is like the magical energy is off and it, it just feels strange down here but uh but yeah what would you guys like to do and we can say we, you guys are having that conversation while coming down down these steps yeah um, I think I should lead the way since my sword is on fire. Yeah. And I oh, guess wait, I just... keep forgetting I should have a list. Yeah. <laughs> Too big for me now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and and just I guess housekeeping wise, uh, Jr. When you sheath your blade, like the the fire goes out. It's not like it's always burning. Oh. So like. But when I take it out, it's it, on yes, fire. yeah. When when you are. Are using it to to attack? It is on fire, but uh, I'm just letting you know that way. You're like, well, I can never sheath this or put it down. Otherwise, it's like, it's Catch like it seems like fire. as you're holding it, like the the power courses through. So. Can I take it out right now and use it as a torch? Oh yeah, I already assumed you had it out. Get <laughs> <laughs> good. good, good. Yeah. All right, so uh, I unsheath my sword. I have work vision. I could I can see in the dark, but I'll go ahead and uh, take my sword out so you guys can go in and see. Um, I think we should head. Uh, the heist doesn't actually need to see. The heist has dark vision. Well, excuse me. What about you, <laughs> Uh I'm pretty sure I do too, but let me double check. <laughs> yeah, I have dark vision. <laughs> Jan Jan looks you at his sword offer. and immediately sheets it again. <laughs> um, Sadly. Well, 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 what if you have to fight things? I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. <laughs> <laughs> I should have yet, like, I, I wish I had a clicker so that I could, like, like, I imagine her beak is too big now, so she doesn't know how to talk with it, so, like, it clacks <laughs> together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have anything that would make that noise. <laughs> just tap the desk. Yeah. <laughs> or, or just tap the mic. <laughs> Well, I don't want to hurt people's ears. It's <laughs> okay. People lick, lick microphones on Twitch now. You'll be good tapping it. Um, I don't have an ear thing on it. That just weirds me out. Like, do they have to get a Q-tip <laughs> to clean it out when like they get too much saliva build up? Anyway, where are you guys? Where are you guys going? <laughs> I think yeah, we should head on deeper into the cave. Okay. Yep. Fair oh, enough, you know what? I just also realized. Hold on. You might not actually have control of your character because I just kept yes. copying and pasted. There we go. <laughs> now you can move. Where would you like to go? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna go right there. That. Okay, yep. So you kind of see a fork in the road. Let's see. And then you can also with your dark vision now, you can see just where you're sitting you can see that this path goes down there I think we should stay together and I think we should go right uh, this is quite interesting because there's three paths and three of us uh, would you like to <laughs> maybe split up <laughs> then I suppose <laughs> this is like Scooby Doo detective agency. I'm taking Velma. <laughs> is that what you named your sword? <laughs> <laughs> I asked Kalimba. I really think we should split, we should stay together. Do you want to come with me, or do you want to take your own path? Uh, Kalima looks back and forth, and she says, Hmm, how big do you think this basement is? <laughs> I'm sorry, one more time, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, clicks her beak. <clears throat> how big do you think the basement is? <laughs> uh, it's probably pretty big. It looks like a underground cave system. Which is all the more reason we should probably stick together. I don't want to get too far away from each other. In case we run into trouble. Uh, Kalima looks at Nearman. Uh, are, are you spilling off? I guess we can stick together. Because the paladin wants to keep people more around. Janty smacks his leg. That's what I'm talking about. 
All right. <laughs> so again, I say we go right. Does anyone have any objections? I say we go left. <laughs> I can't stand this elf. <laughs> <laughs> Left it is. <laughs> you guys can roll off to find out who who goes. Who's more convinced? Yeah, he's okay. Like, we stand. We, uh, I get. I get in. Uh, in the heist's face, and I say right. And the heist is gonna say left as I roll the charisma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nat 20 so hey this is charisma check me <laughs> well, hey, yeah. you you roll a charisma check against well and if you can roll higher you guys convince you convince <laughs> oh man oh. <laughs> okay you guys are going to the left <laughs> I back down a little bit and I kind of sag my shoulders a little bit and I'm like Fine. I guess we can go left. Uh, Kalenma tries to reach out to pat uh, Yanti on their shoulder to make him feel better, but she doesn't really understand her wings and accidentally kind of smacks him in the face with her wing. <laughs> I recoil. Control you! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> sorry! Sorry! <laughs> Why does everyone insist on hitting me? It's the worst vacation ever. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys go down the left, you see one of this path open up. Yep, so. Yep. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you keep going through, and if there's anything you guys want to do, check, see what happens. Uh, the heist is going to go ahead and roll perception just to see if he can find anything that's out of the ordinary. Oh, yes. Perception is my specialty. <laughs> hey, you hear like it, it's definitely like bouncing off the, the cave walls here, but you just hear this like like this grump low grumbling it like you're not sure if just from it echoing off the caves, you can't tell what it's saying, or just you're too far away, or or whatever. But like, you hear a sound coming deeper from inside the cave. Okay. But yeah, like, whatever is up ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh, whatever's up ahead, if we it sounds like it's something uh very groggy. Yeah, I think I can it's hear that big. too. Let's move a little, let's stick a little closer together. And then I get to this corner and I also roll a perception. Maybe. Right. Yeah, roll perception and you can pretty much see for free in here. Like <laughs> Perception. Yeah, like you, like you, you hear something like kind of echoing, like whoa, 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 and like just kind of weird echoings and stuff. But like, yeah, you, unless there was something specific you wanted to look for. Um, uh, can I tell if it's getting louder or the echo is bouncing off the sound it, too much? With with that roll, it's yeah, you, know, you can't tell pretty much with with the bouncing of the wall. Okay. So you guys now come up to another fork in the road where, uh, yeah, where one goes north, one goes south. This time, let's let Kalima choose. Between north and south? Yes. Well, you know what would be real fun? Let's see how sane she is right now, because it's been a little while. Why don't you roll a wisdom check to see it? What what part of brain is taking out? Okay, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> brain okay. Yeah. So your so like with that like your you you guys can see like 
some of the like the more bestial features begin to recede a little bit more and like she seems to calm a little bit and i'll leave it up to hop if she still has a lisp <laughs> uh she clicks her beak a few times and goes ah okay okay i feel feel better do you guys also feel weird or is this just me i think it's just you hmm pretty I'm something going on with her bird flu i should <laughs> <laughs> I should I should read more books on this, but so you want me to pick between north and south? Uh, can I try doing a perception check to see if I can tell what direction mm -hmm. the mumbling com is coming from? Yes. Huh. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. So let's see. Yeah. It. Uh. Well, you're just trying to find out where it's louder coming from, louder, and it's just like as you guys enter. Here, uh, you can definitely tell, like, if I had the right clicky thingy on, it sounds louder here. Like, okay. But, like, to determine what it's saying, like, you're, yeah, you can definitely, no it sounds like the sound is coming from that direction. Okay, so then Kalema points uh, that way and she goes, uh, yeah, I guess this is probably our best bet based on the way the echoes sound. And then she starts to step towards here. Sounds good to me. It was some exploring. You just see this other room. And... Yep, and you're standing there. Let me just. I mean, your dark vision is 60 feet, so. I'll just eyeball it. Say. Yeah, as this cave system begins to open up. Um. So. Yeah, so what you can see here is this glowing kind of green fluid uh, kind of below. And uh, yeah, as you guys creep closer to it, uh, I need you guys all to make constitution saving throws. The crystals. Oh, boy. Okay. Deep pain. Hmm? What color were the crystals? Upstairs, uh, they were a greenish hue. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Similar green. One could say that. Like I don't know, light <laughs> always plays a little bit different. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but yes, um, there's there seems to be a sim similarity. Uh, and yeah, no. So you guys all like, it's kind of weird. Like you feel. Like, even, uh, Kalinma with your, like, magical aura, like, you feel, like, a hardening, but, like, you're able to just shake it off. Um, and, like, you're able to keep moving forward. So... This. There you go. So that's that's what you guys can see right now. Terrible place to build a house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, like, so you guys can definitely feel this, like the the wall, like the tunnel that you guys climbed down through, like went on f for a while, and like the staircase wasn't it wasn't there. Like it looked like. Oh no, the, the first thing that popped in my head is if you guys ever watched Alien vs. Predator, when they find that tube that goes all the way down to the, like, pyramid, like, that it looks like it was created by something unnatural, that's what it looked, kind of looked like, where there was this unnatural tunneling that maybe came up into the house. Mm. So, yeah. This has definitely been here for a long, long time. Nickelodeon slime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. 
Right, dangerous. Try to proceed with caution. You don't want to trip and fall. All right. Don't if you get close to me, I'll push you in. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to, you, um, whoever, I'm going to only let one person roll this. So whoever has the highest perception, feel free to roll this. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's uh, All right. the highest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. With your plus five. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> so maybe like, like, cause there's some weird fumes that are coming up from whatever this thing is below. Um, just, just kind of feeling what you guys see over there. And, but yeah, you hear this mumbling and, um, even though it's still, yeah, it, I think in like, percept, like with checks like that, like you still hear it's just like, it seems like it's going complete. Yes. 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 It seems like everything is going swell. And it's just like more, you're hearing like kind of more conversational conversations happening so I put my hand up and tell them Shh, I think we're getting a little bit closer to them let's just walk a little bit slower I hear you no I'm just roll. joking they don't hear you, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better I roll think we're check. getting closer <laughs> roll, roll, don't check for that buddy hey right, so if you guys want to sneak uh, well we'll do stealth rolls but if health is my specialty, oh, Ooh, why am I, I like that? Wait, heavy armor. What? Oh yeah, and I have. Oh wait, am I flying? I don't have heavy armor. Or, sorry, I proficiency in the stealth skill because I have silent feathers, but I still rolled well. <laughs> I wait, so I, I just I that. just clicked stealth, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're all good. Oh wait, no, hold on. With heavy armor, you get disadvantage, right? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, but I shouldn't have heavy armor. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh well. <laughs> um, <laughs> you still rolled good enough. Yeah, so it's just like I imagine, like the heist and like Klinma, you guys are like just silent, and then you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> like the beginning to one of those Santa songs, uh, <laughs> and just like. Um, yeah, John T, uh, he's trying his best. Like, the, he did roll a natural 20, but he rolls a disadvantage. So, like, if he <laughs> didn't have this armor on, he no one would be able to hear him. But it's just, <laughs> he, he just had to get that, like, Maraca heavy armor. It was on sale. And, uh, <laughs> but not. But, uh, yeah, it's, but you guys can still can hear this mumbling. Um, just uh, all right the heist is gonna suggest that he goes moves forward by himself and uh do kind of covert uh mission to see what he can uh, find out talking at his other uh squat basement so bad yeah. wow that's the first good idea you've had i think you should scout ahead maybe we should get more of those be like me one day <laughs> leave already <laughs> <laughs> okay so where are you sneaking up to alright can I roll a perception to see what direction the yeah, voices come from yep oh here actually if you guys are standing there I can just reveal what you see oops as I out of the map yeah but yeah go ahead roll perception actually you don't need to even roll perception even though you just rolled it. Yeah, that even <laughs> confirms it. Like, as you guys were crossing the bridge, like, you could hear, like, the voices coming from over here. Okay. Uh, down here. Oh, wow. My ring looks like a strawberry flavored. Anyway. <laughs> it also looks like a right. strawberry, but mine's more like a strawberry milk. Yeah, I have strawberry Kit Kats. Anyway, yeah, so <laughs> kind of where we were, where the strawberries were pinging. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the heist is going to go ahead and, uh, you know, for all by himself, uh, stealthily. 
if we can uh all right well if you're doing stealth roll stealth yeah yeah you're fine so where are you going there uh, he's gonna kind of yeah go here and peer kind of stick close to the wall and kind of peer around it as he's uh moving all right one second okay so you see pretty much what looks like these three three children uh or at least what you assume is the children, like more of these crystal things. And uh, up here, I didn't have a good token for them. So if you, but these kind of weird looking creatures that are look kind of human humanoid and they're tall and they, they have like, I don't know, kind of like octopus tentacles coming out of their mouth. And they seem to be having this conversation with each other. Um, I'm just having that. I'm just revealing things that you guys can see because I'm tired of looking at these like blocked out areas. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it's, they they seem to be talking with each other and just like you're so proud or so washed it out. Mm, yes, yes. Soon we will have everyone under our control. Well, then we can just continue to move farther north. Hi. The uh, heist uh, is going to come out of stealth and step out and say, not on my watch. <laughs> that hasn't been invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they all snap too. Uh, and uh, well, what do you say? Uh, or we're going into initiative. Yep. Is there, oh, you're, okay. We're just going into initiative. All righty then. So... I slap my head and I'm like, oh my god, he just got out of stealth, didn't he? He just announced himself to the enemy. Come on, Kalinma. Yeah, Kalinma Time to bail him out again. Kalinma was like, I didn't expect him to shout at them, but uh, yeah, I guess that's our <laughs> cue. I just also realized I need to make this one just a slightly different. Uh, Jay, before you move up, uh, roll your initiative. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, you can't, can't move. There we go. I just made one of them blues, so that way I know which one is which. <laughs> Alrighty. So... Trying to get this initiative tracker set up. Um, uh, uh, look at that! You guys rolled the same thing. Oh, okay, so who has the higher dexterity? I think I do because I have that plus one. Plus one. Okay. Yeah, yeah mine is zero. Yeah. On is this dice? Roller won't let me re-roll dexterity, so I'm just gonna... Not dexterity. Um, okay, so there's that. Oops, just punched my mic, and... Uh, okay, and... that and then I'm just gonna make Linma have just one higher so that way that way we can figure it out cuz uh, I'm trying to think in in Pathfinder 2 I think if you guys roll the same initiative you just say who's going first like you guys just determine uh, and D&D, it's typically whoever has the highest bonus uh, yeah. beats the tie. 
Yeah. Well, like in Pathfinder 2, that's what it isn't. That's the same. That's how it is in Pathfinder 1. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, just fun little, fun little things. Oh, okay. Whoops. Let's try that again. It didn't save, uh... There we go. Save Jaunty is, uh... Um, alrighty. So, there's our initiative. I don't know where I can put this right now. Wait, so who's going first? Uh, uh, I didn't say... Set them ourselves? He's still rolling. Oh, no, I have everything set up, but, uh... Yeah, so Hop is going to go before you, JR, um, when we get there. And uh, I'm just going to let everyone know um, if... Uh, actually, no, don't play the next song. Oops, whatever. Um, so I've tried to find the right song. Nope, that's not what I wanted. As I, as I look for the right song... Well... This is what should have been playing the whole time. <laughs> See if it gets more intense. If it doesn't, um, yeah, uh, we are, as you guys can see, time-wise and everything, uh, we're drawing close to the end. So this uh, looks like a battle, and uh, the five-dollar healing is still on. So if uh, if anyone thinks they need to help. Uh, the five dollar healing is still in effect, which uh, it. I don't know if I actually ever explain how that works, but um, pretty much we will roll uh, a luck check, and uh, if it's good, the party gets it. If uh, if it's bad, I get it. So, alrighty. So, to start off, the heist. It is your right, turn. So the heist is going to go ahead and take out his longbow. Uh, cast Hunter's Mark on this guy back here. Okay. And he's going to go ahead and take a fire at him. I'm going to look out for a good sign for Hunter Mark. That looks like a fun sign. Okay. So. That is a hit. I'll do 15 tool. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take another shot. And that's 12 tool. Okay. Alrighty. And with that, that music cut off very quick. I forgot to hit, <laughs> I forgot to hit the thing. Oh, well, that wasn't really what I was going for. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Please go down. There we go. Sorry for everyone's ears. Um, all right. So next up, Klinma. Okay. So, where's the ruler? I don't see the ruler as an option out here. That's weird. It should be there. Oh, it's really skinny on my screen. There it goes, it's back, okay. So, if I just move, I can only move out to here. And then if I move out to here, that's, oh, okay, perfect. So, I'm gonna move like here, and then I'm gonna cast with my bonus action again, um, my spiritual weapon. Uh, can you give me my book back, please? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I can put it 60 feet from me. Hello, oh, I'm back. I just need control. Yeah. Now you should have cool. it. All right, so I'll put it here, and then I'll attack the same person that J2 was attacking. All so. right. The 
does that hit? Uh, it does not. It does not okay. hit. Okay. So then for my main action, I will use... Um, that one's a touch spell. I guess I will do Sacred Flame, which also has a range of 60 feet. Uh, as a cantrip against that guy, so deck save. Okay. And that's a nine. Okay, so he fails, so he'll take the nine radiant damage. On which one? The blue guy. Guy. Oh, wait a second, that's a saving throw. Hold up, they get advantage. No, no. Hey, that's a 16. Never mind. I do nothing this turn. Alrighty. <laughs> um, I'm just double checking. I don't know why I put these people in. There's so much reading I have to do. Um, oh, I forgot. This is one of those annoying songs where it fades out. <laughs> Hold on. I think this one was... There we go. This one's... That one fits a little bit better, so not this weird fade out. Um, I'm just reading things real quick to make sure. Okay, so with that, it is now Jaunty. It is your turn. Okay, I pull my sword out. How'd you do that ruler thing to see how far? Wait, never mind. I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can I also, I can also go 30 feet as mm -hmm. well. You can double move as well. Oh. But then you I can't, can't attack. You can't right? attack. Correct, you can't attack. Okay. I go right up next to the ice. And I'm slightly out of breath. I'm like, man, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm clearly engaged in combat. Ready your sword and let's get ready to take these guys down. I give him a hard look and then I take my sword out. Shing! And then that's it. Okay. Okay. So, you guys got that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right. So next, um, green guy is gonna come. Actually, let me see. Is there a way to check cones? I think cone is just, it's one, one two. It's like, yeah. So this is like the five, this is the ten, this is the fifteen. Alright. Oh no, I've made a mistake. <laughs> okay. Where did you? Well good, you guys are all in range. So, let's see. Um I think we've all made a mistake. <laughs> Alrighty, so this green one is just like kinda holds up a hand and just like <laughs> just like kinda does this weird chant that um, but for some reason it doesn't look like it's coming, like it, it doesn't, you guys don't hear it verbally, you hear it like echoing in, in your mind. I need everyone to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay. So, uh... Kalitma and Janti, you guys hear this echo in your mind, and you're just like, what the heck? Like, and you shake it off. Unfortunately, um, Nierman, this thing, like, you hear, like, this voice, and it's just, like, just prickling into your brain, and it's just, like, I don't know, it feels like this energy is, like, just surging through. Um, and, uh, well, they have the recommended damage, but where's the fun of that? Let's roll it. <laughs> um, let's see. I'll regret this if it... Let's see. Alright, so 23... 27 damage. 27? Yep. 
All right. And you're actually stunned. For one minute. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, at the end of your turn, you can try to, to like, break free out of that stun. Okay, well. Do that. We'll just do this little lightning bolt, John. Gonna grab uh, the DM screen so I can remember what things do. <laughs> so, uh, stunned. Just to, for anyone that is wondering, I think. If I can open up the other side of it, that will tell me. Um, so yeah, you cannot move, and you can only, uh, you can only speak in like kind of altering communication. You automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws, and uh, anything that attacks you gets advantage. But at the end of your turn, uh, like I can tell you, it's you are literally one off. Uh, if you make a fifteen. Uh, intelligence saving check. Or wait. I saving throw? Uh, we'll just do the same thing. So yeah, so if you beat a 15 intelligence uh, saving throw, you will break free of this stun. <laughs> Good grief. So. Alrighty. And uh, he is going to be... Oh, we just got raided. Well, <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I'll pause real quick. Thank you so much for the raid. We are in the middle of a charity D&D stream. Uh, and, uh, well, all the things are happening. Thank you, Savage. And uh, uh, normally we would have a whole bunch of other things that I would do right now. But we're everything's going on. Yes. Uh, but real quick, for anyone that is wondering, we're raising money for Girls Who Code. Um, we... And uh, so pretty much if you guys want to affect the, the game, uh, you guys can, I think the link is up there. I forgot where it went. Um, but if you, pretty much any money can help. If you can't donate, that is perfectly fine. You are totally able just to chill and relax and have fun. But uh, yep. And so in short, uh, the biggest thing would be healing. But if we get I think at $150, we have another, we hit another milestone, which will be $750 raised for the charity. And in short, uh, something will affect the whole party. So no pressure. Do thank you, everyone. Thank you, Savage. And uh, everyone enjoy uh, the show. Now I forgot where we were. Okay, yeah. So this guy, he just kind of laughs. Um, let's see. See. Um. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do this to determine something. Okay. So. Um. Oh, <laughs> I guess I should also say uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Maverick, uh, for the bits. Unfortunately, I don't. Uh, I, I can't transfer them over. Uh. Thank you for your generosity, but unfortunately, the anything Twitch side, I it, I just can't transfer over currently. So if you're able to, you can go to the Tiltify. Uh, speaking about that, oh my goodness, I just looked over. There's there's a bunch of stuff that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you, but oh boy. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Uh. All right, hold on. Let's. We will we will finish that up in um in one second. So um alrighty. So yeah, we'll we'll determine that at the top of the next round. So yeah, with that, let's see. So blue. Let's see. You guys are medium, right? Medium size. I don't think anyone's large. I drew. I did not want to draw. Ignore that dot. So, let's see. He's going to come 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So he's going to come up here to uh, the heist. And let's see. Um, 
Yeah, well, he's gonna pretty much just try to... Wait, does attack hit work? Yeah. I forget. No, I think I still have to hit. So... Um... But he's gonna roll to see if he can reach out with his weird tentacle-looking mouth. Um... Let's see, so... Does a 21 hit? <laughs> Boy, does it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he... <laughs> he, he gets you. Um, let's see... Okay, that, that wasn't terrible damage, so... Well, actually, it's, it's 10 altogether, so another 10 damage. Um, <laughs> and... You are now grappled. And it's weird, tentacle-looking mouth. So... Um... Yeah, so you are, you are held there. Um... And with that, uh, that's the end of its turn. Uh, and then it is now... Okay, I just need to make these guys... Hold on. I'm just doing this so I know which one is which. Alright, so this one is going to move up. Right, turn. Okay, and it's gonna come here and is gonna try to attack um, Jaunty. Okay. And man, now this is where all my, my good rolls are coming from. Um, hey, does a 19 hit? Uh, I have 18 armor, yes. Yeah, okay. And, uh, well, the heist is going to wish it got attacked by these people. Uh, okay, that's six points of damage. <laughs> and that's the end of its turn. Um, next is... Uh, this one's, let's see. Five, ten. It's gonna go there, and then this one, that's all it can do, and this one's gonna go up and try to give you a good old slam as well, John T. Uh, okay, yeah, you said, based on what you said, uh, that's a 17, you said an 18, so, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that doesn't, it kinda just deflects all your armor. And with that, we are at the top of the round, so we got some things that we got to do real quick. First off, because um, I think we're going to need it, we have one, two, three, four natural to see who is going to get some natural 20s. So I'm just going to roll all four of them right now. And for anyone in chat that is wondering, uh, whenever $20 was donated, um, if, if it was $10, uh, you could give someone their next roll be a natural one. Um, this one uh, is going to be natural 20. So a one is JR, a two is J2, a three is Hop, a four is me, which is what I want. And uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You like it. <laughs> you like the, the rolls. So. Uh, let's just say, man, it was going real rough for me earlier, but now it's going real well. So, I get two natural ones, Hop gets, uh, sorry, two natural 20s are my next roll. Hop and J2, your next rolls will actually, uh, J2, that, <laughs> that's actually really good for you. That might save me. It. <laughs> <laughs> it will save me. Um, okay. Of it even better for me. And now um, we had someone roll a heal, a heal check for you guys. So, J2, I'll leave it up to you because you're in the most um, daring thing for anyone that's wondering now to figure out wh which side is going to get the heal. Um, we will roll a D100. Now, if we roll a 69, since that is the internet's favorite number, it will automatically <laughs> go to the group. So, I will ask you, uh, 
and it will be like I think we said it crits it as well so J2 do you want high or low on the I natural 20 sorry what low low okay so for everyone at home if it is 51 or higher I get the heal you guys get the heal <laughs> yes. okay and so I think talk about the ice <laughs> let me see I'm trying to remember what I said it was let me just open up my notes right here um that's the wrong tab let's see notes Okay, I don't remember what it was. So, I think it was just 2d6. <laughs> so, everyone gets oh, wow. six six uh, hit points back. So, Jen. Alrighty. That's good enough. So, there we go. Um, alrighty. So, now we're back at the top of the round. Uh, and, the heist, it is your turn. Um... And so we, well, first things first, we would have you roll a check to make sure that um, if you're still stunned, but we said your next roll is a natural 20. So you are no longer yep. stunned. So we can take this right, off, sorry. but you are still grappled. So to break grapple, you will need uh Let's see. It says an escape roll, but I don't know if you have any modifiers added to that. I would think strength or dexterity. Pop, if you know off the top of your uh, head. It can be athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Like this, I'll go acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. I'll go acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, because in Pathfinder, there literally is an escape uh, thing. Oh, and you were free. Like, <laughs> it was just like the last second and like you, you burst free. So... Um, it doesn't say that you lose your movement, or and I don't think you lose your movement if you break grappling. Let's see. Grappling rules are weird. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here it is. So... It becomes zero, and... And also the effect removes the grappling creature and effect. Okay. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I can't see anything of it stopping you from having your turns because all that stuff going to happen at the beginning. So you are free to take your whole turn. I was going to say, get your tentacles off off me. You shall oh. pay for it with your life. So the heist is going to go ahead and use uh, Missy Step. Go ahead and uh, teleport him up to 30 feet. So mm -hmm. what he's going to do is. Uh, Teleport on back here. I will. I will say this: this stuff here is like it goes to the ceiling, so they're not like ledges you can stand on. Okay, give me a second. I gotta reopen back up. Again. Yep, no problem. Yeah, they're like support pillars. I don't remember what like knowledge checks are in this game. Like what would constitute it? Yeah. Um. I guess it, I mean, like you can decide as DM. Right? Yeah. Like, like if you guys want, like, I don't know. That's just me thinking. Like, that's what I would do. Just always check. But <laughs> it's um. But if you guys want to do that, I will leave it up to you. Okay. So you abandon your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Got the heist. Uh, <laughs> you guys to get in the position. All right. So now I'm gonna move right here. And actually, just all right. So what I'm gonna do? Let just know this is like a solid pillar, like that's going up. So you don't have line of sight on on green. If you went here, you would. Yeah, we're just actually no, no, we're gonna. All right, so. uh Nice. It's gonna go ahead and it's gonna go ahead and cast uh, healing, healing spirit on himself. 
Okay. Trying to bring up his HP back up. All right. <laughs> uh, of course. It's something. <laughs> it's revenge for killing all my babies. <laughs> is it talking about level two as well? <laughs> Only three HP. What is this nonsense? <laughs> and then uh, JR is putting his uh, Wi-Fi password and. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that did. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, with that, um, okay. yep. Yeah. Uh, we are now at Kalimba. Okay. Um, she'll use her bonus action to hit this guy with her book. This button. Um, that does not hit. Okay, and then she will move here, and then Sacred Flame this. Or, well, let's do a different one. Let us uh, do Guiding Bolt. Yeah, this is a cool action. Does that hit? <laughs> yeah, um, should. Let me just read something. Okay, yep, no, that definitely, definitely hits. Okay. So, oops, I did that so you guys could see the bonus. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the next person who attacks the blue guy gets advantage. All right, and we'll just... Make him sparkly. <laughs> Trying to find the sparkly thingy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, yeah, he's got that. Nine. Okay, yeah, just chip, chip, chipping away. As I bring up my calculator, while I'm doing math, John T, what would you like to do? I look back at Kalinma and I say, nice shot. Way better than that elf. <laughs> And uh, I move a tiny bit. Well, he's he's within range right now of my swing, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I pull out Velma. <laughs> and I cast Divine Smite on it. Or, yeah, cast Divine Smite. Uh, and then I take a swing at the blue guy. Okay. And you get advantage. No, roll oh, again. Oh, wait, what is that? Just roll so again. Just... Yeah. yeah. You roll twice and take the higher number. Gotcha. That's Ooh. a natural 20. Okay. Nice. Woohoo, so much damage. So, let's see if... Yeah, so we said that's going to be doubled, and now roll a d10 to determine how much fire damage you're going to do. Ooh. Magic sword. Bring Goku. Um, let me see. Oh wait, what is it? D10? Yeah. Uh, so you can type in slash roll and then 1D10. Yes, yes, yes. Uh oh, did that not work? No, it, <laughs> you did. You oh. rolled an 8. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have to ask you a very, very important question. How do you kill this yeah. thing? So, I wave my flaming sword around and around and around and then I put it right by my hip and I tell him I'm glad you hit that elf but you gotta go then I go with the upward slash whole lot of fire everywhere and I slice him in half okay and he is gonzo uh, and you just hear, it's like, like in your mind, you just hear, like, and <laughs> just like this scream that I can't do right now as I'm trying to find. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. And, uh, Plenty of blood. Let's... That's fantastic. He was weird, so. There we go. So this this blood covers there. You just hear in your mind, just like ah, and just dies. Um, you're able to move if you so wish. 
I turn around and I say, that's how you do it, the heist. <laughs> and then I move forward. I still say, you had help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I move forward to catch this, this guy here in the back. Oh, but, wait. Uh, you can probably would I be able to, to attack again? That's just one attack. Yeah, you can run up there yeah, and attack. Yeah, you would have a second attack. I will let you know, if you move in there, these two guys are going to have attack of opportunity against you. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to stay where I was. Shouldn't, shouldn't the one with the red dot have attack of opportunity? Since he's still within range of the uh, blue one? Well, oh, where'd you, where'd you go? <laughs> you I were, have no you were idea. Here. <laughs> 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 no, like, I'm saying if, um, if he moves, like, he didn't move yet. Um, like, you guys have seen how these guys have been attacking. Like, it's... They haven't been, like, it. they haven't really been hitting, so it, it's up to you no. if you want to risk reward. I'll smack him again. I'm going to smack the uh, the one on the right, the, the red one. All right. Go ahead. Roll the hit. Okay. And in that upward motion, I turn around to the right. And um, quick question. Do I still leave the Divine Smite on, or is that just the one attack? I think it's just for the one attack? I don't think so, because it says that it appears in a five-foot cube, and I think it stays there until... Yeah. Yeah, it stays still. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'll swing. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's a hit. Oh, and 14 damage, so... Let's see, all right. Let's get to that one. Oh, and roll, roll your one d10 of fire damage. Hey, Payne. Uh, whenever you have a chance, can I get a Fey I can control for my spell that I cast? Yep. Give me one second. Okay, so, yep, and you just leave this burning, like, gouge, like, into the metal, like, where, like, you cut through and you can, like, still see, you can see, like, the skin of, like, let's see, what would be something fun? Let's just roll, let me roll a die. Uh, like, of a, like, a, of an elf, like, and a younger elf. But like they're they're still alive. Um. Yep. So. Hey. With that. Um, let's see what we're gonna do here. Um, I'm looking. This music slaps. <laughs> yep. I found this guy on the TikToks. Um, here we go. Here's your little dude. Let's see. Let me make him. There we go. Alright, yeah. small. <laughs> there you go. Should have control of him now. Um, okie dokie. So, let's see. What can we do here? I need to look up a spell. Looking up a spell. Bum, 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 bum. Do 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 do. See what this sucker can do. Okay. I can see you. Let's 
All right. Um, let's see, I'm just... just reading to make sure what this does. Okay. Jaunty, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Dang. Oh, whoa. oh. <laughs> Wait, don't you have two nat 20s? Oh, I do. Oh, yeah. <sighs> but I didn't roll. <laughs> thanks to thanks to Heist. <laughs> I didn't, my last one was I should have okay. Yeah, I have one. I completely forgot. Yeah. Well, this this one was for me it wasn't a roll, so <sighs> okay. Well then that sucks. Like I'm gonna waste my natural twenties on these stupid things. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay, well uh it does that and uh Yeah, so you just you feel like in your mind something like just telling you like telling you to do something, but it's just like it's it like disappears. Like you shake it off. Um and with that, that it's its turn. Um and let's see, now we get some natural twenty hits. Um this um crystal red uh over here is uh not very happy. And let's see. It will do. Ba, 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 ba. I lost it. There we go. Okay. So. Okay, so that's three sets. Eight eight points of damage against you. That's my one natural twenty. And. Um, let's see, and then blue is going to try to attack you. Well, it doesn't try, it does attack you, so that's six. So you took eight and six damage against you. Um, and then green here, let's see. 10, 15, 20, 20. 10, 15. All right, so uh, green here is going to run past Jaunty. Jaunty, you can take an attack of opportunity if you so wish. I do. All right. I say not so fast. All right, that's a hit. Roll damage. All right. And your your one d ten. Okay, it's still up and continues on its path to get right in front of Kalinma here. And, uh, let's see. It's going to, let's see. I'm uh, looking for the dice. I'm also looking for something. Uh, Kalinma, as this thing gets in your face, um, feel, uh, can you make a, a wisdom, just a wisdom check? Alright. So, yeah, you can see, like, the pain that is in its face right now, and it's just, like, it seems like tears are, are kind of, are flowing, flowing down. Uh, it... And uh, it doesn't seem like it, like it seems like it's being compelled as it kind of swipes at you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I don't have to do that. And it's just like, oh my goodness, that's seven points of damage. <laughs> okay, well, to your aura, shield. yeah. Yeah. So okay. Wow, my things are being used. Uh, would I be able to do a perception check to see if there's something around controlling them? Um, on your turn. Okay. Yep. Uh, 
so it was just as this thing it was mainly due to the just to explain the reason why Clint was able to get this was uh, when she found out that they were potentially the children she actually showed remorse while everyone's like okie dokie <laughs> so <laughs> uh, she that's what I was just thinking I was like ah. yeah so <laughs> that is that is kind of why why she was able to to see that um the heist it is your turn all right the heist is gonna point to the fade that he summoned on his last turn the healing spirit he's gonna say you healing spirit make sure i stay alive and keep me up with the health okay so the boss spirit... <laughs> <laughs> perfect just all imagine <laughs> healing spirit's gonna go ahead and cast more healing bada bing bada boom baby hey <laughs> creep <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got you. Bah. <laughs> Good. All right. So the heist is gonna go ahead and uh, oh, gonna go ahead and uh, open move his here. ruler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take out his trusty ruler. All right. He's gonna take out his longbow wisdom, and he's gonna take uh, fire at uh, this guy right here. All right, old All right. greeny. He's gonna take out his longbow. <laughs> longbow wisdom is uh, another bow that I haven't won about the games. <laughs> That's a hit. Now, let me ask you, are you going to use uh, your your kind of snake tattoo? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, okay. use it. Yep. And uh, so just uh, visually what you see when you activate this, one of the eyes just dims as as you uh, as siphons the health. Um, so, yep. So it's eight damage. Okay. Right, so I get eight health back. Uh, you get half, half that back. So oh, half. Okay, four. But uh, I get greedy dice. Do you get multiple attacks or, or do? Yep, get multiple attacks. Yeah. So like it that. I wasn't very specific on it, but in my head it was just like. Hold on, what did I write? Um. It says damage dealt. So. There you go. Uh, as a free action, you take half of the damage dealt to restore HP. It doesn't say for a singular attack, so for all the damage that you do, you're going to get half of that restored to you. All right. He's going to go ahead and uh, take another shot in. Okay. Well, that's a crit. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so... Nine times. Oh, so wait, uh, thirteen times two. Oops. Uh. Oh, rainy. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So it uh it's not doing very very happy right now. Okay. And the heist is gonna go ahead and point to him and say, when I get to you, buddy, you're done for. Alrighty. And with that we now move over to Kalima. She's gonna move up. That's the cooler. Move up here. Uh, would you say she has line of sight on the yeah. this guy? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then first she'll use her book, which gets a nat 20. Oh, look I... at that. It missed. No. Ah! <laughs> okay, yep. Nat 20. Uh, let me roll. Okay. And then... Yeah. So nice. that's how much force so... damage. No. Right. Double checking, making sure I'm not missing anything. My babies. <laughs> okay. Yep. And then she'll also take her flame, the green guy in the back. JK. Oh no, that's the damage. Deck save. Okay, I got scared. <laughs> okay. And... Yeah, it failed. So it takes that three. Okay. 
And with that, uh, Jaunty, it is your turn. You wanted to, you wanted to see if you could find if there was anything controlling them, right? Yes. Yeah, so, let's see. You can roll perception, or if you want, and if you're if you're able to, which I think D and D, you're. I think you're allowed to really roll anything you want. <laughs> um, oh, hello, phone. Uh, Arcana. I think I'll roll Arcana instead. This one everyone knows. Someone liked my TikTok. That's <laughs> the one that I almost set myself on fire. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, natural 20. So with that, you remember, like, where Kalimba pulled out that like crystal from um I forgot her name. The the dwarf upstairs. And Darla. Darla, thank you. I remember I remember it began with a D. And uh <laughs> and like you can see like it's not necessarily in the shoulder but like in the same place, but you can see kinda like on these things like like uh, it's either like some are like one has it sticking like out of their their arm, the other one has it like kind of in their in their flank in the side, uh, and like with the natural twenty, you can see like the one that was uh, next to to Kalinma has it like kind of like in the back of their neck, like where you're able to see and recognizing there's that uh, like where the point of impact was. Got it. Okay. I, uh, I yell out to Kalima. Look at their weak spots. Yours is on the uh, on the back of the neck. Mine is on the elbow. How did you get that crystal out of her again? Hold it. All right, and um, it is my turn. Hmm. Uh, can I try to pull it out? I mean, he's right in range. Can I just pull it out of him? Yeah, so how are you trying to pull it out? Like, are you just going to brute force it? Or are you going to try to finesse it? Because, like, I'm not going to... I think right now, like, you, I'm not going to allow you to do a medicine check with, uh, <laughs> with in the middle of battle. So if you're just going to, like, kind of just grab and brute force it, uh, it's going to be strength. If, exactly uh, what I was gonna do. Okay, there you go. I'm trying to think if there's any skills that would be able to be added to it. Well, like, what what is your um? Do you do you have like a, I guess either medicine and maybe even nature with this? No, Ar I'll say Arcana. Like, so if you want to, no, not Arcana. Sorry. Yeah. So I'll allow well, you to make a I medicine, to, but go ahead. What? I wanted to tackle him. Okay. The there you go. Brute forest. Go ahead. Do it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and, uh, wait, what am I rolling? Uh, strength. Yes. Yeah, so just okay. click strength. Okay, so you tackle him, and like you're able, to, like you're trying to to grab onto it, but it just seems to like you're having a hard time grabbing it, and like just you you're able to pinch it and just move it a little bit, but like you're just it's kind of just slipping from your grasp. Um, but uh, but like it it feels like, and then like just at the last second, like you just get like a firm grip and just pool and just dislodges and which one were you doing that on uh that was on the red one all right and the red one like it, it just like on the ground like he just like kind of stiffens up and just like and just kind of just falls down but like you can start seeing like uh that one was in its elbow and it's just like it starts to do that flaking thing uh with that um and now it's old Greenie's turn as uh, near near uh, sorry at the heises <laughs> keeps measuring, um, and so. Thing where I can put walls up. What? Thing where I can put walls up for home. I just need to make sure I know how a different spell works, and. Uh, 
Alrighty. So. You guys hear in your heads, like, as this thing is talking to you, is saying pretty much, like, well, we learned a lot here, and we don't need the East, we already have the West. But we'll be back. As he kind of does this hand incantation, and, uh, just fades out of existence. Isaac's gonna call. No, get back here, you coward. I'm not <laughs> done with you. I am done with you. I say run, coward. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so with that, um, well, I'll, I'll ask everybody with, with that, the threat is gone. You still have these, um, crystal, crystal children, <laughs> uh, just kind of wandering around, like, still kind of attacking. What, what is your plan of action? Like, are you guys going to try to, well, the heist, you would be next. So I'm just asking, what, what would you, what are you doing? Are you, what is your, your plan of action right here? Um, like, are you going to shoot the kids? Uh, are you scanning up there? Like, what are you, what are you doing? All right, so the heist is going to demand the Faye keep the hills up. Okay, boss. How was, <laughs> how was that? <laughs> <laughs> Not as great as I wanted it to be, but it'll do. All right. All right, and so the heist is going to go ahead and uh, pass Misty Step so we can go ahead and teleport on over to here. All right. Hey boss, where'd you go? Just try to keep up. And then he just falls and... into the lava and dies. <laughs> and he's going to go ahead and uh, go up here and see if he can investigate, see if he can find any indication where the guy, guy, uh, where the guy went. Okay, right. yeah. So if you want to do that, uh, you can do, well, he definitely, yeah, it would be Arcana. Um, Arcana, Ar 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 yeah, Arcana check. So while you're while you're doing that, um, the next up, Kalinma, what 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 is your point of action? Oh, I want to help pull crystals out. Okay, yeah, you've done this before. It's it's very easy. Like they're not the fastest moving thing. Uh, so yeah, Green has the crystal out. Uh, and John, T, are you just repeating the process on blue? Yep. Okay. I'm still uh, roughing up blue. <laughs> okay. Yep. So that. Yep. So the these these three things, as it looks like their crystal shell begins to to shatter and like kind of flake away, um, slowly, like and uh, they start returning more to their humanoid self. Uh, the heist. What did you get on your arcana? Okay, so with that, like, um, well, no one really checked to see if they knew what these creatures were, but it seemed like this was some sort of teleportation or, like, like some sort of, like, they are not here. Like, you're not, you're not seeing any, um, like, residual energies. You're not seeing any, um, uh, just anything physical uh and uh like any physical evidence that they're there except like this book that's just like i just imagine the skull and it's just like <gasps> just like breathing just awkwardly staring at you while it's waiting for Klenma to tell what to do <laughs> <laughs> um but uh besides that creepy thing um it doesn't there doesn't seem to be anything that is happening here um Yeah. I yell out to Kalimma. Uh, maybe we should call call Darla down here. Get these kids. 
Uh, that would probably be best as long as we know. Uh, wouldn't it be safer if we asked the kids to follow us up there instead of her trying to wander down through here? Fantastic idea. All right. So with that, you guys can bring the kids up. Uh, Darla is, well, wondering why her precious uh, uh, Timmy has this giant burn gouge <laughs> in his, his shoulder. Um, she's like, I don't know oh. how that got there. <laughs> but uh man that uh seems to happen um and uh here we'll just go to the map that over the just the big map here um and as you guys come up on the town here uh it seems like the water the water is still flooding and still coming up and uh it doesn't seem to be stopping like and uh you can see different people like kind of either putting like sandbags or, or something up there all while singing weird enough um <laughs> you also notice that like that when those entities disappeared like that weird energy you felt um was seemed to disappear um and so, well, we got to do one quick thing. Hey, okay, so Hop, you have the last natural 20 that just got donated. Thank you, Snake, for the raid and the donation, my dude. Um, oh boy. And so, uh, if, I'm just gonna say like for, for right now, unless there's some, like, I was just gonna say this natural 20 is gonna come to the effect of a perception check that uh that is going off and you see this like dark um not i don't want to say purple because it isn't purple but it's like this weird like kind of uh grayish energy coming from the emerald spire as you see this like ebony tower up in up in there and then from the forest you see like this crimson beacon pulsing pulsing out uh throughout uh uh the town and that energy that you felt down in the caves you guys all feel this is now fl washing over the town um i need all three of you guys to make a constitution saving throw. Right, of course. All right. So, Kalima and Jaunty, you, you feel that same thing as you guys walked over those pits uh, as like that kind of hardening and shattering off. However, you look over at the heist and you can see these crystal like just forming from his feet forming upward and he is now encased in this emerald crystal and is stuck there you guys your last reaction what are you guys going to do like in this you don't see like what was on the other ones uh you mean there's nothing I can pull out there's nothing you can pull out and so you have your question is flight or fight what what do your characters do you know that you can feel this energy pulsing from the woods but you don't have to go to the woods this is I, i'm letting you guys know this is going to determine what happens at the end like this is the closing of this so are you guys going to escape the t lake zenith and head down to, to uh uh the whatever the fort was, the port town that's south of here, or are you going to continue forward? <sighs> and if you want to roll on something, you guys can totally do that as well. I right. would we'll try to save the town. Okay. She got good books. <laughs> All right. I would hate on the heist, but I would begrudgingly follow Kalinma. He's part of the party. We can't leave him behind. Okay. 
And so, the way this story ends is that we see an owl, an owl person that is constantly sh shifting between bestial and more owl-like <laughs> creep things, constantly going between a lisp and not, and <laughs> someone that is like, so you see my cool sword, uh, walking towards the woods near these, these energies coming from the woods. Behind them, a uh, a crystal statue of of a man who, or of an elf that knew that did much, uh, but wasn't able to do saves at the end. But hold on, <laughs> I have to do one more roll here. Okay, so you guys walk into the woods. And it's like, it, as you guys leave, it's like kind of, we just see the camera just sitting there looking at uh, the heist. And I, I, I imagine if there's credits, the credits would roll <laughs> as uh, we just watch like the heist just <laughs> sitting there in uh, his, um, his like kind of crystal uh, kind of tomb. And then like the credits finish and like we just hear like this shuffling coming up. <clears throat> I need to, to do this voice. This weird small creature dressed in a quilt coming up and he's like, Oh, my drinking buddy. But we can't have this. He touches it and a flash of light happens and they're both gone. And that is the waking of Lake Zenith. Thank you guys for playing. <laughs> Very nice. I can't tell if we did yeah. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there, there are things that were happening. Um...